Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Thank God for this season and thank God for this message that I'm bringing to you. All week I've been talking to you about why did Jesus come? And oh, yesterday, thank God, you know, I, 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 I got now all these things. I have done teachings on these things. You, you need to just look for them or you need to call or ask for them and then we'll send them to you. To know what, what's 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 the place? What is death? What is what is death? What is the rapture? What's the resurrection? You need to understand these things because I know, I know, lots of informations out there are not the truth. You don't excuse your life. You don't excuse. You don't you don't give yourself reason why something wrong is happening. No 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 excuse for that. All we need to do is believe what Jesus said when we believe him we grow but when we give excuse we stay where we are praise God now the next reason I want to share with you on why Jesus came is this he came to restore the kingdom to his father praise God yes he came to restore the kingdom to his father now Revelation chapter 11 I'll show you something in the book of Revelation chapter 11 now, this was what was declared about Jesus. Revelation 11 and verse 15. It says, And the seventh angel sounded, and there was great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Notice that. It says, A day is coming, and it has already begun. It has already begun. He says it's going to be declared. What is it? The kingdoms, the kingdoms of where? Of this world. See? Remember the Bible calls the devil, it calls Satan the God of this world. Now the Bible says it shall be declared that the kingdoms. So that's the study that he's not talking about one kingdom. He's talking to he's talking about every kingdom on the face of the earth. Every every rulership every um, authority every place of governance he says the kingdoms of this world have become what the kingdom of our lord and of his christ talking about jesus and he will reign praise god now that that's why we are here remember he told us occupy till i come question then is are we really occupying see so, you know, sometimes you find God's children say, um, um, Christians are not supposed to be involved with politics. It's such a dirty game. Listen, there is a prophecy that has been given that the kingdoms of this world will become the kingdom of our Lord. Now, Isaiah 9, 6 tells us that the government shall be upon his shoulders. What do you understand from that? Now, let me show you something, another striking scripture that you know, will make you excited. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 5. I want you to see something here. It says, And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth. Did you see that? He's talking about Jesus. And one of the names he calls Jesus is this, the prince of of the kings of heaven no 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 of the earth look at that word again revelation 1 5 he says and the prince you know who a prince is the heir apparent this is the crown prince so jesus is the crown prince of who of the kings all the kings of the earth have Jesus as their crown prince. I love this. God is so wise. You, you, you know, when people misbehave, you're just looking at them. They, they, they don't know that God has it. No, God is the one holding the foundation. So he made it a decree that Jesus, his son, be named the prince of the kings of the earth. You know what that means? Jesus is the prince, crown prince of Saudi Arabia. Jesus is the crown prince of wherever you can think of. England, you know, you know Nigeria. He, he is the... He, now, what is the crown prince doing? Just waiting to take charge, waiting to take over. So the day Jesus gets up in any nation, in any kingdom, he has the right 
to take over that government. Praise God. Now, that, that's what we need to grow into. Are you getting me? So, now, this is the reason he is going to be, he is going to be said when it, fu- it is fulfilled. And that day is not too far from now. I thank God that the awareness is already coming to the body of Christ. That, that look, we are supposed to take charge. And let me tell you something. We are entering into that realm of full reigning. And that's what 2020 is going to begin to display. The full manifestation of this. Jesus is going to be rising up as the prince and taking over and becoming the king of all the kingdoms of the earth. Praise God. You know, I love this. Because you know what? The Bible says, and we shall what? Reign with him. Now, that's why you, you should grow in God. You should grow in, in, in the things of the Spirit. Grow in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. You know why? So that you can comfortably reign with Him. You don't want to be a novice and trying to reign. No, no, no. You don't want that. Praise God. I'm going to continue tomorrow and I'm going to share, share with you the fifth reason Jesus came. Until tomorrow, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.